Welcome to today's practice video. This group started in Melbourne back in March 2020 and our daily movement and mindfulness practices are still going today. Please subscribe to the channel. You're welcome to share this. If you would like to join our daily practice, drop us a note. Details are on the About tab on the YouTube channel. Remember that the journey of a thousand miles starts beneath your feet. So I hope you will be inspired to join us for daily practice. Today's oracle to inspire our practice is Miriam Makiba. Miriam says, if the times are broken, it is our job to mend them. Your joy makes fools of your oppressors. In an age of liars, the truth is dynamite. Love that one. All right, it's uh, Monday, so we're going to do a standing practice. I always like to start the new week. Let's get into it, see if we can get our chi flowing, our energy moving. So whenever you're ready, just come up into a standing position. Just take a moment to connect your feet to the earth, feel that stability, allow gravity to do its magic. Just take a moment to arrive into the practice and get a sense for where you're at today. Every day we wake differently. Body might be feeling stiff or free. You might be aware of tension or not. Just take a moment to scan through your body and get a sense for where we're starting from. Take our arms down by the side, just shake them out a little bit. And then inhale to lift up, reach up. Feel like we're drawing new energy into the body and then slowly storing it as our palms come down. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, sink down through the heels. Feel all the energy moving from your busy mind. Thoughts are untangling a little and energy moving down the body. One last inhale to reach up. And side out. Let go of any busyness, whatever conversation your thoughts are having without judgment, just allow your energy to come down. Let's place one hand, heart center, the other hand down on our dantian. Just a few finger widths below our belly button. Once you're here, just reconnect with the feet, the toes, the heel. Maybe slowly bring your attention to your breath. We're gonna to start today's practice with our square breath, our box breath, where we inhale, pause, exhale, and then pause again. Before we attempt to change our breath, just notice where it's at. Follow your in-breath all the way. And then side up. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, we let it go. And our next inhale, let's just a little pause at the top of the breath, inhaling together. Pause the breath. Sigh it out. 
and then we just hold for a sec. Inhale. Just bring our attention to this top of the breath and then sigh it out together. Without consciously trying to hold your breath, just bring that attention before the abdomen inflates again. See if you can bring all your attention just to that moment in between the in-breath and the out-breath. Might end up being a longer period than you expect. So I like our Monday Qigong practice to be flowing forms to get us moving, to get our energy moving. When we do this, we get closer to being in sync with nature. All of Qigong is to try and get us closer to being, acting as nature does, without thought, without planning, without meddling, without cleverness. All these things are human things that we've brought into life and maybe they stop us from ever feeling in harmony and balance. Endless to-do lists, the endless interfering and controlling. When we look at nature, the seasons just follow each other in a dependable way. They don't change order. We always know in every winter that a summer is coming and vice versa. We always know every day follows night. When we watch the fish swim, the fish swims with the tide. The trees blow in the direction of the wind. All the movement of nature follows these cycles. And in a sense, this dependability of the cycles can give us optimism that things always change, always regrow. So if we feel stuck in our thoughts, if we feel stuck in a sense of things are getting worse or the world is dying or changing. Just watch nature all around us. It's very easy in spring. We can see the blooms. We can see the regrowth, the regeneration all around us right now, as soon as we head outside. So today when our monkey mind starts planning and getting all clever and trying to solve problems and fix people around us and you just come back to this point you're at right now, back to your breath, back to the idea of just moving as nature does. Just leave that cleverness behind, just trust in the intuition of your body Trust in the idea that change is inevitable. We learn to teach ourselves patience, steadiness. And all this comes with our breath. Now, any time during the day today, we can return to our breath, return to presence, and maybe just see the opportunity All right, if your eyes are closed, slowly open them. Let's shake our arms out a little. Let's bring our wrists together. We're just gonna tap the inside of our wrists, just a few finger widths below the wrist crease. This is our Nagun point on our pericardium meridian. Good for settling the heart, just bringing a little bit of calm. Pericardium wraps around the heart, protecting it from shock, from 
whatever the world brings. Let's draw those wrists together and we're just gonna roll them over each other. On the opposite side of the arm from the Nagum point is the Wagon point. So it's on our triple burner, our triple warmer it's sometimes called, regulates body temperature, protects us and just allows a little bit of consistency throughout our body as we move our chi slowly. Let's bring our attention up to our shoulders now. Big shrug, roll through the shoulders. And come back the other direction. Today we're going to extend uh, one arm out and palm facing up, thumb at the back. And we're just going to see if we can turn our hand the full way around so that the thumb comes around and the palm is up again. Just practice that a few times. Just slowly twisting through that arm and shoulder joint. And then if that feels okay for you, we're gonna add a little bit of a neck movement to it. We start with our head facing towards as the palm is up. And then as we turn the palm over, we turn our neck to look in the opposite direction. Take your time with this one. So we start palm up, looking towards the hand. And as we turn the palm, we turn the neck away. You might feel like you're just unscrewing your neck joint as you turn it around. Find a few cracks and pops in your neck. That's okay, just move slowly. And when you're ready, bring that arm down, shake it out. And let's move to the other side. Thumb at the back, palm facing up, looking towards the palm. And then as we rotate around, we turn and Check in that you're not holding any tension in your teeth and your jaw. Sometimes you can clench your teeth while you do this. Why? Maybe bringing a little smile to the corners of your mouth. And we shake it out. All right, we're going to reach our hand over, find our Jin Chan point. This is on the gallbladder meridian. It's just halfway along the top of your shoulder blade. So find your shoulder blade and move along it. Find the point roughly halfway. We're just going to press into that point as we allow the arm to swing side, forward, back. To shift the balance of weight. And you can press into that top trapezius muscle just above the shoulder. Press into that jinjang point. It's where we hold so much tension, so much frustration, moodiness. So just allow the natural sway to move through that joint, maybe getting rid of some of those knots, some of those tightness. And when you're ready, let's come to the other side, halfway along the top of that shoulder bone, just find the Jin Jang point. It doesn't matter too exactly where you are. We're just pressing in as we 
rotate through the ball and socket joint of the shoulder. Many different muscles that engage as you move your arm out and up and they all kind of have to work together. So just move your arm around to whatever place your body is suggesting it should go. Just listen to your body, it'll tell you where to move, where it doesn't feel right, where it feels okay. We're trying to release ourselves from efforting, from trying. This is how we become more like nature. We simply sleep when we're tired, we eat when we're hungry, we keep moving. We keep telling our body that we need every part of it to function so we can grow old gracefully, being happy rather than cranky and stiff. All right, nice one. Let's shake out both our shoulders. So take one arm up and one arm down and just gently pulse behind the body, pressing back and switch. Let's take the elbows out to the side, opening the chest and then hug around, give yourself a big hug, wrap your arms. And let's bring our hands to our waist, roll through the waist. Knees and toes stay facing forward. Just feel like all the movement is coming through your waist here. Thoracic spine, mid part of your spine. Let's draw our knees together. Cup the knees, bring the feet close together, protect the knees. Make sure your weight is sinking back into your tailbone. Just very small circles. I'm gonna do a little bit of balances. If you wanna find a wall or a chair to lean on, please do. Just putting our weight in our right foot, we lift up the left and rotate through the ankle joint. Might bend the standing leg knee just a little. You can have your hands on your waist or out in front or lean against the wall. And then we're going to step down on that left leg, bend the knee, hands to the hips maybe, or prop yourself up and just open through the hip joint. And then come back the other way. And we come into our left leg, rotate the right ankle this time. Stepping down that right foot, bend that knee, and we're gonna open out through the hip joint. And then come back the other way. And we're just gonna do one last standing balance, sinking back into our heels, just spend a moment just connecting with the earth. Come onto the left leg. We're going to inhale to lift the knee up, right knee up. Exhale, take the foot forward. Inhale, lift the knee up. Exhale, take it forward. Let's do one more time. You'll feel this in your quad, in your psoas muscle, on the front of your leg, and slowly step it down. Right knee connects to the earth, and right leg, left knee comes up, lift it up. Exhale, push the foot forward. 
Inhale, lift the knee. Exhale, foot comes out. One more time. Nice. All right, we are well warmed up. We're gonna just integrate that box breath, that square breath into the first movement. Interlace the fingers up. Inhale to take the hands up. Turn the palms at the heart. Now hold the breath, bring our eyes forward. So face turns forward. And then we exhale, sink through the heels. Hands, palms come down. And when you've emptied out the lungs, just hang there for a moment, just suspend the breath and then inhale as the abdomen inflates again, turn the palms, we reach out, big breath in, hold the breath, eyes come forward and we exhale to sink down. And see if you can really bring your attention to just that pause between the in-breath and out-breath. And just find your own flow with the breathing here. You might start to find your abdomen inflates on its own, dictating the movement. Yeah. All right, let's come into our Wuji stance, bending the knee just, just a little, lifting the toes up off the ground and then place them back down, maybe one at a time. Just feel that grip, that connection to the earth. Arms hang by the side, fingers slightly apart, thumb turned in. Just feel the width of the collarbone, solar plexus rising up. Tailbone tucks under just a little bit. Maybe your chin tucks just a millimeter or two in, neck grows long. Crown of the head is lifting up. Feel all your leg muscles switched on, knees are slightly bent. Just focus on your feet, that connection to the earth. Once you feel steady in the shape, maybe bring your attention back to the breath. Maybe also back to those pauses in between the breath. Let's do that Shabasha 18 forms of Qigong. As we slowly inhale and draw the palms up. Exhale. Come down. Empty out. Find your own flow here, but keeping your attention to that pause in between the breaths. Just when we find the stillness, maybe get a sense for presence. If your mind is still busy, if you're still planning your day's to-do list, that's okay, just notice that. Every day we come to the mat is an opportunity to practice, to train our mind. So maybe just become a little bit more still, a little bit more focused. And maybe this is when we reach that Wu Wei state where we achieve many things without effort. We become so much more efficient.
And we move on to the second form, this time a big inhale, up and then out. And we exhale, bring the palms in. I really feel like you're letting go. This is a form precisely for letting go, connecting our heart and our breath. And whatever things our mind keeps returning to that maybe are not serving us anymore, we just sigh them out. Sink through our heels, bend our knees. Just feel that sense of letting go, a sense of relief. Just don't have to solve this problem. So many times problems just get solved themselves, but cleverness takes the credit. And maybe it would have just happened anyway. The third form, we draw the two palms up along the center line of the body. Big long inhale and we paint the rainbows opening the side body. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale to reach up, exhale, bring the hands down. Now we separate the clouds, cross the hands over and reach up, inhale. And we exhale, sinking down, hands come wide. Feel that sense of openness through the heart, through the chest. Now we repulse the monkey, elbows come into the side of the body, palms facing up. Inhale to draw one hand back, turn the palm, like you're pushing out those repetitive thoughts. Maybe it's the sense of, this is what I need, this is what I want, that sense of always placing desires and senses ahead and running towards them always. If only I had this, if only I had that, life would start. We always think this way, we have the chance that those future things just constantly rob us of being in the moment, just enjoying life as it is. We're always looking towards these conditions for our happiness. We just never get to appreciate what we may have, whatever that may be. So we might feel like they're just pushing away 
that long list of things that we need to be happy. Six form, we row the boat, bend the knees, scoop down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, let it go. Seventh form, we take the hand over. I feel like we're lifting or lifting or holding the sun. Cross the hand across the body. And feel the weight on your hand. Feel the resistance as you lift up. Again, moving with the breath, inhaling to come up. Exhaling back. And now we hold the moon, we bring our arms in front, palm facing towards palm, inhale together. Exhale, we twist at the waist, at the thoracic spine. Side out. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, let it go. I feel like you can sense the energy in between your palms, an extension of yourself. Inhale back to the center, draw our elbows in again, and we push across, pushing the mountain. Inhale back to the center, exhale, lean into the leg, push out. Now we get to cloudy hands in the lake. Left hand comes down, right hand facing back towards the heart. And we slowly turn the body, keeping our eyes on the top hand. And we switch, fingers slightly apart, thumb turned in. And just move with your own rhythm, with your own breath. Come back to the center. We're going to step forward with our left foot this time. Bend the knee. Scoop up water energy. Lift up. Reach up. And exhale. Lean into that back leg. Let it go. We scoop up. 
big inhale, exhale, slide out. If we do this form, we feel like we're connecting with all the ocean, the river of our journey just empties out into the expanse of everything. Just how we maybe lose a little of our sense of self and gain the connection to those around us. Everyone part of the same world, the same journey. And this form moves us through our kidney and bladder meridians, also connected to all other organs. Bladder meridian runs from the inside of your eyebrow over the top of your head, right down either side of your spine, back of your leg, to your knee, to your ankle, and all the way down to your little toe. And it crisscrosses with all the other meridians. Let's draw the energy into the body and we push the waves. Shifting our weight from front, forward to back leg. Inhaling to draw energy in and exhaling, push it out. Now we open our wings like the dove and we sigh it out. And we step our leg back in, draw the elbows in close to the body, feet just slightly wider than the hips, bending the knees a little. Loose fist, thumb inside in that loud one point in the middle of our hands. And we exhale to punch out, keeping our eyes focused on the hand. Inhale, draw energy in. Exhale, let it out. And this is for the wood element. We're in the wood element season at the moment now. When we get caught in our frustrations and our angers, we don't move very efficiently. We can stew in moods. So we use this sense of becoming one with our anger and frustration, not hating on it, just noticing it, seeing it when it's there. The sense of us wanting to control the world around us, the sense of us feeling frustrated that maybe people aren't doing things we would like them to do. As we practice this form, we slowly teach ourselves Patience, kindness, empathy. Just to allow and to accept everybody to be on their own journey, no matter how different from our own. Now we saw like a wild goose, we take the arms out to the side. Slide out. Maybe our heels leave the ground. We take flight. Maybe. 
Just feel the movement with your own breath. Maybe even coming back to that pause. Even for a millisecond. Now we take both arms down, bend the knees. Our eyes follow our hands through the arc all the way around. We inhale to lift up. Exhale, let it go. Bend the knees, a little twist through the lumbar spine. Now let's go back the other direction. And we slowly come up to bounce the ball. In the final form, we bring our feet under our hips, scoot down earth energy, slowly draw it up and into the body. And we side out to store it in the dantian. Inhale. And exhale. We feel like your shoulders are sinking down. And this time we bring one palm to our lower belly, the other palm covers it. We just take a moment to just get a sense for where our body is at, how we feel right now. Maybe how clear our mind is. We use practice to get awareness of our body, our mind, our state, and maybe form small intentions. Finish today's practice with the practice pledge. If you'd like to repeat any of it in your own mind, please do. I acknowledge that the nature of all things is to change. I will embrace uncertainty, unpredictability. I will become friends with them. Through my practice, I make a commitment to not speak or act out of confusion. My greatest teachers will be those that disagree with me, those that challenge my fixed ideas or my fixed identity. I will have full optimism, but no expectations. So I will not be disappointed. Good fortune will come when my preparedness happens to meet opportunity. So 
bring our hands together, just create a little bit of heat, just sealing in the learnings of practice today. And as we take our hands to our face, maybe just thank ourselves for the decision to practice, to prioritize it in our lives. Maybe you make the small intention of taking it out of this time of the day and bringing it to everything we do, everyone we meet, 